Jessica, I can see you, and I have to tell our listeners, you look like you're having a blast. Are you having the time of your life up there? Absolutely. I'm not sure that I've smiled this much for a month consecutively in my life, and I've described it in, in recent interviews and even in the one that I just had, how it, it does almost take you back a little bit to your childhood. Family tree, and ultimately it leads to a man in New Hampshire who is Lisa's grandfather. I was contacted one day by my nephew, and he was working with the sheriff's department out in California, and they requested for me to do a DNA. And they discovered that I was the actual grandfather. And Barbara Ray Venter learns from him that he had a daughter named Denise Bowden. And Denise is Lisa's mother. It's the harshest punishment yet for a parent embroiled in the college admission scandal. Napa winemaker Augustine Huneus sentenced to five months in prison and 500 hours community service by a federal judge. In court, the father of four saying, I want to pay for my crime and atone for the harm I have caused. And the heroes who jumped in to save lives. Here's ABC's Zachary Keish. This morning, a New Hampshire church community is reeling after a gunman walked in during a wedding and opened fire, injuring three, including the bishop and the bride. The 911 call was made from inside the church at where a wedding service was taking place. The gunman shooting 75-year-old Bishop Stanley Coat in the upper chest and the bride, 60-year-old Claire McMullen, in the arm. Good evening and welcome to tonight's Candidates Forum presented by Tingsboro Democratic Town Committee on Tingsboro TV. I'm Tom Zupa, former senior editor at The Sun. I'll be co-moderating tonight's forum with a familiar face in Tingsboro, State Rep Colleen Gallery. Good evening, Colleen, and welcome. Hi, Tom. How are you? Thanks for coming to Tingsboro, virtually. Thank you. Virtually, I, I, I am there. In the sense of the government and the hardworking staff are still here and supporting you through all of this. Living in Massachusetts, we have the best resources available to us. We have top-notch hospitals and physicians. We have brilliant scientists, researchers, and healthcare providers that are working tirelessly to understand COVID-19. It is essential for us to continue to follow their guidelines and recommendations. From Tingsboro Television and the town of Tingsboro, I'm Roni Camille, and this is Inside Town Hall. Coming up on the program, Tingsboro Public Library staff are getting ready for a potential opening after months of being closed due to the COVID pandemic. We are hoping to reopen the library in a limited way in the middle of August. As the start of the new school year draws near, the head of the Tingsboro Public Schools share how he and his staff are working to keep students and faculty safe. Uh, I'm, I'm taking all the precautionary steps I, I can as a superintendent to make sure that our school and our systems are ready to go, that they are as safe as possible. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected how we interact. You'll hear from town staff how they've had to change their workflow to continue helping the community. It's it's more of the, the lack of people and trying to find out other ways we can reach out to them um, and, you know, just to make sure everyone gets what they need. This and a roundup of all that's happening in your local government coming up on Inside Town Hall. Unfortunately for us, red slate is one of the most expensive uh, slate materials available for roofs, and that was another reason why we went for a historical matching grant. Water safety is critical. People should be wearing life jackets, not swimming alone. You mentioned there was a tragedy in the next door community that we were, had to respond to and uh, assist uh, several communities with a, a tragic drowning, and uh, you know, it, we just need to try to avoid those situations if we can. Kingsboro residents are committed to reducing waste, and recycling is a big part of that. You may have heard that there are nationwide trends that are forcing communities like ours to reduce the contamination in our recycling carts. Recycling is made for rigid materials, such as plastic, glass, metal cans, and paper and cardboard. I actually just felt incredibly inspired, and looking back at the beauty of the earth, just incredibly fortunate to have that opportunity. 